So here we are, Birch Bay State Park. It's about two hours north of uh, Seattle. Uh, the drive was a lot easier because I didn't have to work today. Uh, so I left at a leisurely pace. Uh, it's a little overcast um, and uh, I think it's gonna be in the 50s, maybe early 60s. Uh, so we're gonna set up, uh, get a hike on uh, and then do some dinner. Uh, but first things first, Let's get this car set up for camping. The car is all set up. It is now time to uh, get the hike on and explore the state park. Now, it is overcast, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, it's really cool. So I'm not gonna put up my Hasika uh, tent awning uh, that I normally uh, put up when I go car camping. I, I think it's gonna be just cool enough I've got my window shades and they are set up fine. I think that'll provide enough uh, ventilation. Uh, I guess if it gets too hot, I could put on uh, the tent awning, but I think for right now it's gonna be fine. So time to get on the boots and get hiking. <laughs> So it's time to watch a little YouTube and then go to bed. Um, it is uh, almost nine o'clock here. And because of where I'm at in the, um, uh, in the state, uh, sunset isn't for another <laughs> couple more minutes, about 917. So uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I am very tired. Um, I have a couple of folks now on the left of me and on the right of me, and there are tons of kids here, um, lots of families. Uh, so that's cool. People enjoying the outdoors. 
Uh, I just hope it doesn't get too loud tonight. Um, but for the most part, it's been a great first night here at the park. Um, now just going to chill and head to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Um, the overnight sleep was uh, actually not bad. Even with folks on both sides of me, they, um, you know, they were relatively quiet. Um, and it was nice just sleeping um, in the area. Um, I am across the way to the bathroom. Uh, I'm in uh, site 115. Uh, so that middle of the night um, uh, restroom jaunt wasn't too bad, uh, which is nice. Um, it is still a little chilly, so I think I made the right call not having the tent awning up this time. Um, the two uh, window shades, which are by far one of my favorite things for car camping, uh, had a lot of ventilation, and so it was great. Um, and so overall, it was a, a pretty good sleep. Now I'm going to get up, uh, make some breakfast, and start the day. So that's the plan. Okay. Maybe I'll snuggle just a little bit more, but I am going to get up soon. <laughs> Birch Bay State Park is located in a blue cove in between Bellingham and Blaine. It's about two hours north of Seattle. Uh, and during the middle of the day when I left about uh, 11, 1130, uh, it was an easy drive here. Now Birch Bay State Park is a 664 acre camping park. It has 8,255 feet of saltwater shoreline on Birch Bay and 14,923 feet of freshwater shoreline on Terrell Creek. Now during low tide, and I showed you that yesterday, uh, you can go out there and uh, shellfish. There's a wide mud flat with a lot of clams and other shellfish that you can harvest during the season. Now the bay is known for its relatively warm water and you can go out there and boat, sail, paddle, and just enjoy the water. One of the nice things about this park is there's a lot to do. Um, you can come down to the water, which is just down the road from the camping sites, and there's great cycling here if you want. Uh, you can just uh, hike around here. There's also a basketball court uh, just up the way if you wanna shoot some hoops while you're here at the park. Another thing I was able to do while I was here at Birch Bay was get my hike on and it was a really good hike. It started coming down here to the water and then went up into the forest as well.
Okay, so I think there is a lake down this road uh, and then there's some hiking trails as well. So we're gonna go down here for a little while, uh, check to see what the hiking trails look like or the water uh, and then uh, get on one of the hiking trails and, and do a loop or so. So let's explore. Best thing to do at a state park. This path, I believe, is going to take me to water, which for my mom, I love finding water. She loves it, and I love sharing it with her and you. So I believe this is the Puget Sound and uh, I think it's low tide. Uh, you can clam and, and do things uh, around here. Uh, I'll get into that hopefully a little bit at some point <laughs> while I'm up here because I think it's part of what folks do here. Um, but it's just beautiful. You know, it's gray overcast today, but I still love water like this, especially this. It, it's moving. Uh, it feels really, really kind of cool out right now. Um, so this is real pretty. You can enjoy this for a little bit longer and then go get our hike on. Okay, so I was getting ready to go do my hike and I met a guy who was uh, a biker and uh, he actually lives in Canada uh, and uh, just hopped over the border to uh, ride and uh, I am very close to Canada. In fact, he told me See if I can do that. That tip right there, right there, that's actually Canada. Hmm. I'm gonna have to explore that one day soon too. I haven't seen any official signs, but this feels like this could be the way uh, to a hiking trail. So we'll explore this for a little bit uh, and see if we can find an official hiking trail. Okay, so it actually looks like this is uh, part of the camping area. Um, yeah, this is like site 90 and up here. Still gotta find that. Uh, those hiking trails. Okay, so I just ran into the uh, camp host. Uh, he's a volunteer. Um, and I think he maybe just started because uh, I was asking him about some of the hiking trails and he only knew of one, which I'm gonna go try and find now. Uh, but I think that'd be kind of a cool gig, you know, bring your RV out, host uh, at a campsite, and, and do that don't know how difficult it is um but i've seen like work camping um jobs posted online so i don't know who knows maybe one day i'll try it right now it's all about trying to find that hiking trail
So I'm at a fork in the road. I can go left or right, not sure which way to go. So I guess I'll have to rely on some Beyonce and go to the left, to the left. You know, this is a pretty nice hike. It's uh, not too difficult, so I think a lot of folks can do it. You know, there's some dips and things here and there, but for the most part, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty easy. It's really well laid out, which is nice. Uh, sometimes you go on hikes and it's like, you know, you can't find <laughs> the, the hiking trail you're supposed to be on, but this one uh, is really nice. Um, and you know the forest is really dense where i'm hiking here which is nice again it gets you out of the kind of day-to-day -day rat race of you know a city like seattle um and gets you out into nature uh, which i really love to explore That's the end of this part of the trail. Uh, I'm gonna go back up. Uh, I did see a, another trail going back a little bit. So we'll check that one out. Maybe that'll get us out of here. But again, just really beautiful scenery here in the woods. Remember at the beginning of the hike, I could go left or right, the Beyonce mode or go right. Well, I took the left, went all the way around and it ends up right back here. So as I wrap up this hike, all in all, it was a really good one. Um, you know, I got to see water which is always a really good one for me. And then also got to hike in the woods uh, and the woods here are just fantastic. Uh, and again, this is a hiking trail that pretty much anybody can do. So, uh, you know, one of my things about going to a state park, I love to get out and explore. Uh, and this was a good day of exploring. Now, Canada, which is just over my shoulder over there uh, is about nine miles away. So, you know, one day I, I'm probably gonna have to come back here so I can go to Canada uh, and who knows, maybe I'll stay here overnight again. Now where you're able to camp here at the park, there are 147 uh, sites. Now I'm in site 115, which is right across from one of the bathrooms. Uh, and it's a very nice bathrooms, great showers there. They keep everything relatively clean. Uh, and it's not too noisy uh, at night as folks uh, come and use the restroom. Now, most of the sites are 12 by 12 and there's a good amount of forest in there. The sites are relatively close so you can see your neighbors, but again, uh, the, the trees and the greenery really, um, you know, soften some of the noise uh, from your neighbors. There are 20 partial hookups, two primitive sites, a trailer dump station, eight restrooms, 18 showers, and the maximum site length, if it's available, is 60 feet. So if you have a big rig, you can bring it in here, um, but those sites are very limited. 
Now the campsites here are reservable between May 15th and September 15th. Uh, so you can just go on to the Washington State um, Parks Reservation Service uh, and get a spot uh, and really uh, enjoy this park. There were a lot of open spots here uh, when I was here uh, and that was uh, in June, uh, but it is just a beautiful park one of the best so far that I've explored in Washington. So if you want to go as close to Canada without hopping the border, uh, you can come to uh, Birch Bay State Park and I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, again, a very beautiful park. It's got water. My mom loves water. So mom, I, I found some more water for you and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope uh, if you guys get a chance to uh, come out here, you'll enjoy it as well. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on my website at RVJedi.com. Get out there, explore, enjoy this beautiful scenery. I hope you uh, get out to Birch Bay State Park. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.